years ago, when that, this razor first came out, it was $50. $50. Well, of course, at that time, $50 was a lot of money for a razor. They're up to $300 now. Why are they up to $300? Bucks? They're up to 300 bucks because it is the best tool on the market. Okay? What did I tell you just earlier? How long have I had this tool and I'm still using it today? 22 years I've had it. And I'm still using it today. So how long is this tool going to last me? Say it's going to last me even longer. Why? Because I bought it. You know, and it's going to last me for that many years. I mean, this tool will outlive me. I'd rather have a tool that outlives me than have a tool that breaks down. You may buy a lot of of, of, of uh, uh, quantity of tools, but what you really want is quality of tools. And that's what you're looking for. When you're buying tools, you're looking for quality. Not quantity, but quality. Why? Because you're vesting in it. But you need the best tools to do the work. Simple. So it's an investment. You know, it's going to make you money down the road. It's, you know, so when you have a tool that breaks down, it doesn't do the job, what does it cost you? It's cost you nothing but grief. So you buy a good tool, stay with good tools, always buy good tools. What I say to those barbers that say, well, I don't, I don't use the, the, the razor that much. I don't do that many shaves. Well, if you have the tool and you have the knowledge and the education to do the razors, to do the shaves with that tool, what can you do? Well, that's the promotional aspects, the marketing aspects of your trade in order for you to get those people into your shop to give the shaves. If you don't know how to give the shave, well then how are you going to market it? You gotta have that, being able to do it. And you gotta be able to have the tool to do the shave. And and there's like I say, yes, it costs, it costs a little bit of money. Yes, it is expensive, but in the long run, you're saving money. And also, too, is that you're able to use the, 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 that tool for different things. It just doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to just use it for shave. You can use it for shaving around the ears. You can use it for razor cutting. You're able to, because of the, of the, the weight factor and the balance of this tool, it's a great, I mean, it's very simple to use it as, a, as for razor cutting also. I use, use the... the, the uh, the, the, the straight handle razors for, for the razor cutting because of the weight factor of it. And it's, it's, it's very simple to use. And I also use these for shaves. Why? Because there's sometimes the, the handle gets in the way. Okay, so when you're using this handle, the, 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 the handle gets in the way. Well, then you just pull out this razor to use without having that handle in the way. So now you've got several tools. It's just like a painter. Okay, a painter just doesn't, like I said, have one brush. You've got to have several tools to be able to do the different work. Yes, it, it is investment in your tools. Yes, but think about it. Think about this. I mean, if you have the tools, you're able to do the work. You don't have the tools, sorry, you're not going to be able to do the work. It doesn't happen.